What is up YouTube? Scrammy here, coming at you with another extreme test for the Sonom XP8. Now, we know that I got one fully brand new Sonom with a new battery and a new back, but I also got a returned Sonom, which I'm still using with my old back and my old waterlogged battery. But for all intents and purposes, they both function and work perfectly fine. Now today, we're gonna revisit the dishwasher. But today, we're going to put one of the Sonoms on record doing a time lapse, and we're gonna put the other Sonom in there just for good measure. So we're gonna have one Sonom recording the entire experience of being in this dishwasher, and we're gonna have the second Sonom in there just for good measure. We wanna see, can they both survive? Will the Sonom continue to video the entire time without shutting off? I hope so. I'm going to try and switch the settings so that the phone stays recording continuously until the wash cycle is over. But we're gonna have one recording, one in there on standby, and we're gonna see just what's gonna happen. I'm hoping they both survive, but this is gonna get interesting, guys. All right, guys, real quick. So this is the Sonom that I'm going to be videoing on. I'm gonna go into the settings real quick just to make sure this is set up properly. We'll get into video here. You can see I have it set to 1080p and no limit to the duration of the video. So I don't think at 1080p resolution it's going to shut off by taking up too much space. I also have on here time lapse. I have it set to five seconds. So hopefully we get a good video and I'm gonna make sure the flashlight is on so we can pick up as much of this as possible. All right guys, here we go. I got the first Sonom on the top shelf here. This is going to be the video time-lapse Sonom. So without further ado, I'm going to start the time-lapse. I do have the flash on and I'm hoping that this is going to work out and we'll actually be able to get some decent footage from this. Both phones are in the 90s for battery percentage, but I did a test a long time ago with one of the Sonoms on the bottom shelf. So now we're trying the top shelf videoing down so maybe we can see the dishwasher working and spinning around. Although this is time lapse, so how it's gonna work out, not 100% sure, but that's for us to find out. So the first Sonom is in and recording. And we got Sonom number two here. We're just gonna throw this one as the same thing right on the top, and put it a little bit further back. We'll double check as you can see the port is fully closed on that one. And the port on this one is also fully closed. We don't have anything open. Now one of these phones has a screen protector on it and the other one doesn't. So we're going to see if the heat will take that off or peel it up at all. It may or may not, but for right now, the dishwasher's pretty empty besides a few things I put up here on the top. So I'm hoping that these phones get nice and soaked. So we're going to put the Sonoms in, both in, both on. We're going to get our little Cascade Platinum little doohickey here. In goes that. Yeah, and it's a wiener dog. Yeah, you are. Okay, we're gonna push this in. Boom. Close it up. And man, I hope I hope we get no whammies, guys. I really hope this works out. But as you can see, it's in there and it is recording. So we close. Bring it around. Normal cycle. And if you can hear it, it is actually running now. So We'll come back in a little while. All right, guys, we are in the dry cycle. So I'm assuming these phones are gonna still be really hot, but better time than now to check to see if both of them survived or neither of them survived or one of them did. I did hear a fairly loud thump, so there is a possibility that one of them may have fallen. I do not know, but without further ado, let's open this puppy. And I see two Sonoms. Oh wow, it is very, very warm. Can't see or tell anything yet. 
All right, let's check the back one first. That was not recording. And it appears to still be working. We'll give that a closer look shortly. Now, how about the one that's recording? Let's see. It's on. I don't know if the recording stopped, but the phone is still on. So I'm gonna get these dried off and we're gonna give it a deeper look. All right guys, so it turns out the video did not come out how I wanted it to. The screen of the phone must have gotten wet and turned off the actual recording. So it didn't get very much, but instead of just leaving people hanging, I'm going to redo this test and I'm gonna try to finagle the phones so that they'll stay on. I'm actually gonna record with both phones this time all right guys, here we go again. Both Sonoms are now recording time lapse. I sped the time lapse up just a little bit so maybe I can catch a little bit more. And I move them outwards so we can see maybe we can get the inner workings of the dishwasher. But again, both phones survived with flying colors here. But I wanted to see a video to get more of what's happening inside the dishwasher. So we're running it again. We are going to put these phones through another washing cycle because if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Both Sonoms have now done two full dishwashing cycles. That is two times through a dishwashing cycle. Let's open it up again. Very, very hot. Oh my goodness, very, very, very hot. All right guys, well as you can see here, the videos both kept kicking off on either phone, but we did get to see a little bit of action as to what's going on in the dishwasher here. It's just a shame that the water made the screens shut off. They also, both phones did capture some still images here, which you're seeing now. So it's kind of nice to see kind of what's going on inside the dishwasher here. We got lots of interesting things and pictures. So it kind of worked out, but I was really hoping to get a little bit longer of videos, just actual motion to see what was going on. Now this last image here, I don't know what happened, but it looks like Satan himself was actually in my dishwasher. That's crazy. I didn't even touch this photo. All right guys, well, as you see, both phones have made it through the dishwasher with flying colors. That's two full cycles through the dishwasher and we got a little bit of footage there and the really creepy kind of scary demonic looking picture that came out of the one sonum 